just wanted to read you a story. Um, this book is called Iggy Peck Architect. This is one of the favorites in my house. My boys love this book so much, and I hope you enjoy it. I wanted to read you a story since I haven't seen you in so long. So here we go. Iggy Peck Architect. This is by Andrea Beatty, and it's illustrated by David Roberts. This is a fun book. I hope you enjoy it. Can you see it? Young Iggy Peck is an architect and has been since he was two when he built a great tower in only an hour with nothing but diapers and glue. Good gracious, Ignatius, his mother exclaimed. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. But her smile faded fast as the light wind blew past and she realized those diapers weren't clean. Ignatius, my son, what on earth have you done? That's disgusting and nasty and stinks. But Iggy was gone. He was out on the lawn using dirt clods to build a great sphinx. When Iggy was three, his parents could see his unusual passion would stay. He built churches and chapels from peaches and apples and temples from modeling clay. At dinner one night, to his father's delight, Iggy got a bright gleam in his eye and out on the porch built the St. Louis Arch from pancakes and coconut pie. Dear Ig had it made until second grade when his teacher, Miss Lila Greer, on the very first day she had this to say, we do not talk of buildings in here. Gothic or romantic, I couldn't care less about buildings ancient or new. She said in her lecture about architecture that it had no place in grade two. Poor Iggy, he loves architecture. Architecture is the um, building of buildings. You draw pictures of buildings. That might seem severe, but she was sincere for when she was no more than seven, she had grown to a great fight at a dizzying height in a building so tall it scraped heaven. On the architect's tour of the 95th floor, young Leela got lost from the group. She was found two days later, stuck in an elevator eating cheese with a French circus troupe. After that day, it's quite safe to say, she thought all building lovers were nuts. As a teacher, she taught that above all, one ought to avoid them. No ifs, ands, or buts. See, she's stuck in the elevator. As you might guess, it would cause Iggy stress to hear such terrible talk. But he didn't hear he sat in the rear while building a castle of chalk. You, Iggy Peck, your desk is a wreck. Tear down that castle right now. You will not build in here. Is that perfectly clear? Do I need, do you need to see Principal Howe? No, ma'am, Iggy said. He lowered his head and his heart sank down to the floor. With no chance to build, his interest was killed. Now second grade was a bore. After 12 long days that passed in a haze of reading, writing and arithmetic. Miss Greer took the class to Blue River Pass for a hike and an old fashioned picnic. They crossed an old trestle to a small island nestled in the heart of a bubbling stream, but they no sooner passed than the footbridge collapsed and Miss Lila Greer started to scream. We're trapped here, oh my alas, cuts goodbye. Her eyeballs rolled back into her head. She dropped to the ground with a vague groaning sound, luckily fainted, not dead. She's just taking a rest. The, the class was amazed. They stood there quite dazed, uncertain of what they should do, but one bright man was off hatching a plan, which started with Miss Leela Greer's shoe. Soon each lad and lass there at Blue River Pass was working together as one, And when she came to, Miss Leela Greer knew that something quite brave had been done. She looked in the air and saw hanging there a structure with cables and braces. 
and on the far side, beaming with pride, were 17 smiling young faces. Boots, tree roots, and strings, fruit roll-ups and things, some of which should not be mentioned, were stretched ridge to ridge in a glorious bridge, dangling from shoestring shoe suspension. Look at that bridge that they built with all of their things. It all became clear to Miss Lila Greer as she crossed that bridge over the street. There are worse things to do when you're in grade two than to spend your time building a dream. Now every week, every week at Blue River Creek, elementary and second grade, all the school kids can hear along with Miss Greer how the world's greatest buildings were made. The weekly guest speaker in t-shirt and sneakers talks of buildings from Rome to Quebec. Of course he's the guy who builds towers from Pi, that brilliant young man Iggy Peck. Well, I hope you enjoyed one of our favorite books from our house. This is called Iggy Peck Architect and I hope you guys are enjoying your time at home and I sure do miss you. Thank you.